Hey guys, here it is. This is my contour routine and I just want to let you know I did already do my eyeshadow and my foundation and concealer. So I'm taking my angled contour brush and my contour palette using this ashy tone here. I like using the kind of grayish brown color for the shadows because it does mimic a natural shadow. And if you don't know where your contour line should go, you can see if you put your brush above your ear and point it towards the corner of your mouth, that's where your contour should go. And so I'm just going to wiggle that product right in there, focusing most of the product in a small line. Once I feel like I have enough product there, I'm going to start blending in a circular motion, uh, kind of going upwards. Uh, I don't want to bring the contour line down further than where it's supposed to be. I'm going to blend this like crazy. Mm. You always want to start off with a little bit less product and build your way up because it's a lot easier to build the product up than to wipe it off if you have too much. And blend upwards. Does that even make sense? I don't know. Focusing all that product right there and then I'll blend that out. I didn't cut all this stuff out because I want you guys to see how much blending takes place. Yeah. Oh my god. We're going to contour that because I have sort of a wide set jaw, I am going to focus a little bit more product over on sort of the, uh, I guess the corner beneath my ear, the corner of my jawline. Skinny face, chubby face, skinny face, chubby face. That looks good. Blend, 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 blend. Bring it down to your neck. So I'm also going to contour the shadow of my temple. You'll see I'm clenching my jaw here and I can you can see the natural shadow. I'm going to contour that. I don't know why nobody else does this. I feel like I'm the only person that does this. You don't have to do this if this isn't something that you want to do, but this is something that I do. I'm going to try and get that product off the brush as best I can and I'm going to go in with this kind of bronzy color. In this area just above my eyebrow, I'm going to stick some bronzer on there. Mm, nice, nice look.
nice circular motions. So I'm also going to do uh, my hairline, add some color. So this is your contour line. This is where you would put your highlighter. In this in-between area, I'm going to hit that with the bronzer. Just to add, um, I don't know, dimension of, of roundness to my cheekbone. and I'm really blending that out. I don't want any harsh lines. Oh, there's that face again, that's nice. All right, so now I'm going in with my powder brush and my Sephora Fall Into Luxury palette, and I'm using the color Nubuck, and I'm using that as my blush. So you'll notice I just do the sweeps in just the one motion. I never come back down. I wanna start at the apple of my cheek and swipe that towards my ear. nice sweeping motions and that's really going to blend and marry all the colors together yeah same on the other side nice sweeping motion starting at the apple of my cheek towards my ear mm -hmm. So this is my eye contour brush, and I'm actually going to use that to contour my nose. Again, using that ashy tone that I used for the shadows, I'm going to be doing this entire area. A nice straight line down my nose, and I'm going to connect that to the beginning of my eyebrow. I like to turn my face when I'm contouring my nose because I find that um, my natural environment creates lighting and I can I can see where the lines should go. I don't know if that makes any sense. I'm not making any sense. Ah. Try and make these lines as straight as possible going down your nose. And I'm also going to do the bottom here. I'm going to make my nose appear smaller. Next is my lower lip. And this is going to make my lip appear larger. Next. Going in with my blush brush and my stay matte uh, Rimmel stay matte powder in the color natural I'm just gonna slash that on all over the place here and it's just sort of going to again marry everything together and make sure it stays matte all day so that's it mm. don't forget to do glamour shots boost confidence, I promise. <laughs> nice. So, there it is, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you think in the comment box below. And please don't forget to share and subscribe. You can find me on social media. My information is going to be in the description box below. And I just want to thank you again so much for watching. We'll see you soon.